Good morning, CCAT. I'm Nicole Placencia, and here's your CCAT news around the depot for this week. According to the CDC, 30 people die every day in a car accident due to a drunk driver. The ASAP office gave us a glimpse into what can happen when you drink and drive. Our very own Jacqueline Nix talked to Colonel Carlisle, and he gave us a few words on the topic. I'm here with Colonel Carlisle, and we're talking a little bit about Alcohol Awareness Month. Colonel, will you tell me a little bit why Alcohol Awareness Month is important and why uh, the employees shouldn't be out drinking and driving? Yeah, when it gets down to it, uh, Jacqueline, Probably one of the most uh, risky behaviors we have in the depot are when folks aren't at the depot, when they're at their free time. And whether they drink or they don't drink, you know, the issue comes back into is that between 12 and 3 in the morning, almost uh, the incidence of drunk drivers on the road increases dramatically. And, you know, with partying and uh, going out to clubs and things like that, like some of our folks might want to do in their off time, they increase their opportunity to. Uh, be exposed to that whether they are drinking or not and then the other thing is is that uh, when it comes to the workforce here we need everybody on the team to continue to push uh, these uh, aircraft and components out for our warfighters and uh, the effects of losing somebody are really not known uh, for for so wartime uh, units when we lose a soldier sailor airman or marines it has devastating effects on that unit for many many days and sometimes months to come before they get over it. And so we need everybody back here and I need everybody to understand that it does you don't have to be drunk. After one drink you're impaired and it has slowed your reflexes down. The child, the husband, the wife, the brother, the sister that you save or yourself might be uh, in the mix. Don't forget to make a plan before you drink and a big thanks to ASAP's Ruben Ramirez for being a good sport out there wearing drunk goggles that show what it's like being at twice the legal limit. We have a wonderful story of inspiration for you. One of our very own, Francisco Saldivar, with the Hazardous Waste Disposal Department, decided to take matters in his own hands and improved not only his physical health, but his mental health as well. Here's his story. I made up my mind last year that I was going to lose weight. I was going to lose at least 50 pounds. And I was going to do the Beach to Bay. And I'm going to graduate from high school in, on June the 2nd, too. So. I got, I had three big goals I had to do, so I'm, I'm ready for them. I'm just happy. I'm happy that I'm going to graduate and, you know, I dropped out of school. Now I feel good for myself that I'm going to graduate and I'm trying to accomplish all my goals that I'm setting for. Thanks, Poncho, for sharing your story with us and good luck. AFGE, or the American Federation of Government Employees, Local 2142, celebrated its 50-year anniversary. We caught up with President Joe Gonzalez, and he gave us a few words on their big milestone. This is our document. This is when we were char chartered. It was on April 1st, 1962. I don't know if that was done on purpose as an April Fool joke. Mm -hmm. I can only tell you that we, here we are, 50 years later, uh, very strong, uh, very much part of the uh, Corpus Christi Army Depot, and we're very proud of it. I think that the way that we've, we've been able to work together has put us in a position where there is no other depot within the system right now that's in a position that we're in with no fears whatsoever of any type of adverse actions as far as reduction in force or even BRAC to come and, and hit this depot. I think that we're very solid, not only as the foundation for the Corpus Christi Army Depot, but for the future of this depot. Thanks, Joe, and we look forward to what the next 50 years will bring. And that does it for this week's edition of CCAT News Around the Depot. I'm Nicole Placencia. Until next time, have a great week.